Right, that's sort of out. Okay, so we go to item number 5.1, public art. And we have three lovely looking ladies here. I'm sure that they are here for that particular reason. Um, Jess Simpson, is Jess here? Jess, do you want to leave the... Leave this off, please. Um, so, um, I'll take the item as read, but obviously the, the purpose of the item is to present a proposal from the Sculpture Trust uh, to install uh, two new uh, works of art on the sites, um, as per your item. Um, and I'll, are there any questions at this stage? Otherwise, I'll get Nikki to... Okay. Any questions? Okay, we'll hand it over to the, the ladies. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm Nikki Smith. I'm accompanied by Kathy Johnston and Carol Hunter, and we're trustees of the Topol Sculpture Trust. We appreciate the opportunity to make a submission to you today. We're extremely excited, excited to bring to council the opportunity to install sculptures on two sites in the town centre. We were approached by council to find a sculpture that could be included in the redevelopment of the Robert Street Corner streetscape. After much research, we approached Albert McCarthy, who is of two funny tower descent. Albert has worked in many public collections, including the Reserve Bank and Treasury in Wellington, the Sargent Gallery in Wanganui, the Palmerston North City Council, and the James Wallace Arts Trust. Albie has offered us three two-metre-high powder-coated steel tiki. There are designs cut into the tiki. A triangle shape which depicts the mountains from the Kaumanawas to Tongariro, Marahoi and Ruapehu and across to Titiropenga, not forgetting Tohara, which will be a small round shape below the triangle. Lake Topo is a star shape which pertains to the ancient story of the marriage of the, of the stars to the mountains. The heart shape below embraces the spirituality of peace, compassion, care and love. These tiki will stand tall on the site and connect well with the streetscape. They allow photographic interaction with our stunning scenery. Each tiki will be painted in a primary colour. We have received financial support from local businesses in the Robert Street Precinct and Town Centre Taupo to fund 50% of this project. This really is a breakthrough for us and displays the confidence that the businesses have in the value of public art in our community. It is a first in having a sculptor from Tūwhari Toa and to have businesses working together. As you will be aware, it has previously been a really hard slog to get financial support and this has limited us in the projects that we have been able to commission. The cost of the three sculptures is $27,000, including GST and transportation from Tauranga. We require $13,500 from the public arts grant for this project. Our second project is a fun sculpture, Hot Goss, from Auckland artist Anna Dunsheath, which we hope to install on Huhu Street. Once again, we are seeking sponsorship from Huhu Street businesses who are willing to fund 50% of Hot Goss. Trustees have worked extremely hard to develop positive relationships with these businesses. We have been very fortunate to secure this compelling and interactive piece for an $11,500 GST inclusive, as our patron has foregone his agent commission of $3,000. This support gives us the confidence and impetus to take sculptures in Topol to the next level and showcase and commission sculptors of notable repute. We plan on this being our next project and we will be relying on the support from the, business, from the Topol business community once again. As an aside, we're also excited to be bringing another sculpture to Topol in the next few weeks and this comes at no cost. A well-known sculptor, Terry Stringer, has generously, generously lent us Flora Totem, a three-metre high bronze, which we will, we will be installing on the water treatment plant. To purchase this piece outright would be approximately $65,000. Thanks to the generosity of Terry and our growing connections with New Zealand sculptors, we hope to become a destination for highly acclaimed works. In Topol, our growing art, public art collection enlivens our town 
and creates experiences that increases our attractiveness as a place to live, work and visit. We are very excited at the prospect of adding two more permanent sculptures to our collection in 2017. Thank you for giving us this opportunity to meet with you. Lovely. Thank you very much. <coughs> okay, any other girl? Kathy or Carol, did you want to add anything to it? Or? You just hear it. <laughs> So you'll see in front of you that the, um, I've just handed you all a new layout of the tiki for the corner of Ruapehu Street, which sli differs slightly from the one that was with your agenda item. There's just been discussion around pulling the tiki back further so it's more into the streetscape as opposed to be encroaching onto the reserve. So the clip, <coughs> the clip will still need to be moved slightly, but not as much as it was before. Okay. <coughs> All right, councillors, any Quite questions? Quite different, but you can, you can see if you hold them slightly. Yeah. <coughs> cool. Councillors, any questions? Councillor mm -hmm. Park. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Councillor Park and um, Councillor... Thank you. It's actually... I, I, yeah, I'm all for public art. I was just wondering, given, given that there's three days left of this financial year, if we resolve to do this today, it does come out of this year's public art budget. Great. Okay, great. Thanks. Yeah. Councillor Hickler? Yeah, just, just a question. Uh, how far are you going to move the clip? Because wouldn't wouldn't that take away some of the, the vision of these artworks if it's too close? Yeah, we haven't. Fraser hasn't. We haven't got down to the nitty gritty of how far we're going to move the clip yet. But it will be it will be moved. So it's it, not in the not in the. We need to we need to adjust it to make sure that we get it not in the if people <coughs> taking photographs and all those sorts. Yeah, of things. yeah. Because otherwise, yeah. It's yeah. Take it. So it's still been in the vicinity, but not in, yeah. around the... Okay, yeah. fine. Councillor Truman? Yeah, um, look, it might just be a typo, and I know that you've been saying it today, but I just noticed that it says the word tickies, and I just wanted to make sure that um, there's no S in the Māori language, just to be yeah. sure that it's yeah. taken out, and it's either tiki or ma tiki, so they are the yeah, Okay, thank you, Councillor Truman. <laughs> All right, uh, Councillor Jollins. Just a quick question for me, probably to the staff. Um, will this be a situation in terms of ownership? Do we do an MOU? How does how does it work, Mr. Ridd? Yeah, we've got a, we've got an MOU already with the with the Skull Trust, and, and ownership always transfers over to council. Okay. Well, um, I guess if there aren't any other other questions, I think it's awesome that the community is so engaged that you've been able to get business support as well as the work that you guys are doing. So I, I think this is fantastic and I think we should encourage more of this in our district. So I'd like to move this resolution that we... Yeah, sorry. Thank oh. you, Councillor. Sorry, I there'll be more questions. Oh, there's more questions. Councillor Buddy, Councillor Williamson and myself are having a little bit of difficulty working out the way this is presented. We roll in here, <coughs> lay the shops on the other side where the hub and that is. Yeah, I'm having trouble. What's the building there? Bailey's corner. 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 Bailey's Thank you. Just, the other quick question was, I raised it about a meeting we had this morning, yeah. just casually, your colours. Um, how did Tom, uh, Councillor Tonganui, can you, how, how do you think those colours match your um, background? From Muddy to Muddy. <laughs> <laughs> the reason I wrote, I recently travelled some years ago with a, with a guy called Fromatu Jude, who was a well known East Coast Maori, and he was appalled that we would take plastic tickies with us to give to Americans rather than something that was proper. And so I'm just wondering about how does that colour fit in with your ethnicity? There's no recent tickies in Memphis. <laughs> in my language there is. Councillor Kingy, primary colours. I can't actually answer that one. Well, um, I, I can, I can. Maybe Dylan might be able to... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 
I, I don't want to overcomplicate matters, but we, the, the objective of the public art policy is not to comment yes. on yeah. the whys and wherefores of art, art is art. No, I, I, I've reread the rules, but I think <laughs> this, yeah. the cultural part of this yeah. might have been important to have that discussion. But I won't continue it, and I certainly approve of the second one. I like something that's actually a form, like Harry Cleary over in Tarong. That sort of, and then I think in Budapest there's a miner coming out of the ground done in copper with a hat on. That's, that's, that's my... <laughs> 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 and as we only get 25,000 um, a year from council, it's a rather difficult project for us to actually pursue until we get more backing. Um, and in regard to the colours of the tiki, um, they have actually been designed by Aldi, who's of two for a percent. And there's no way he would ever, ever want to offend or insult any okay. member of the public. Okay. In regards to the Tauranga one, there was a that placard, it was 800 and something thousand donated by the community. Mm. So, I, and I know the council put a contribution in, but it certainly wasn't a whole lot. So, thank you. Put your DC. Chief Cultural Advisor, uh, is that the technical name? Mr. Dylan Tahir. Um, <laughs> <laughs> would you like to comment on the colour of the tickies? I don't know if I can want to now. Your worship, however, I just note that Māori colours derive from the nature. So if you see yellow, blue, and any other reds outside, you'll see that it's derived from that. So the colours that are highlighted and take um, Mrs. Johnson's point. Albie's made this call, these are his designs, it's certainly not been a participating role from Tu Whareto or from anyone within council chambers, so good luck to him and, and wonderful presentation. Cool. Thank you. Very good. Thank you, Councillor Buddy. All right, you're under Councillor Park. Second it? Sure. Um, just to uh, just suggest to Councillor John and Zach, we'll just take the yes out of the ticket and the recommendation. Are you happy with that? So you happy to uh, move that, Councillor Johnson? Second. So moved by Councillor John, seconded by Councillor Park. All those in favour, please say aye. Aye. Those against? Very Thank you, ladies, and uh, appreciate the uh, you, taking time to come today and present and uh, give our regards to the rest of the Sculpture Trust. Thank you.